card and matching fake ID allowed two women to pay for their dinner tab. Soul Secrets restaurants already Soul Secrets restaurant, I should say, already required customers to show their ID to prevent fraud. Yeah, but they're saying scammers are getting creative. Local 12's Paige Barnes explains how the women doubled up on the con. And they somehow cloned the credit card, possibly by using a skimming machine or through hacking the family's information. That coupled with creating an ID to match the name on the card. The cardholders bank alerted them right away. Two women went on a shopping spree. Their currency was identity fraud and credit card theft. But no matter what you buy at one over the Rhine restaurant, you will always be asked for an ID if you use a credit card for your protection and theirs. We're losing money daily because we have people that are eating and then disputing charges saying that they didn't eat here. Um, so we're losing money because the bank ultimately comes back to collect the funds from the credit card holder. Holloway implemented the ID check a couple months ago, but didn't expect customers to find a loophole. I think we were like the third transaction that had been charged in that particular day. So we were able to view our camera footage to show the individuals that were here and pass that information along to their bank. Sometimes people prefer writing CID rather than signing the back of their card. That's supposed to show the signature on the receipt matches the one on the ID. Thought that one signature is different from another. We just sort of take everybody's word for it. Breo says while you can't stop someone from trying to clone your ID, you can protect yourself by checking your bank statements on a regular basis and turning on transaction alerts. Those guidelines can also apply to debit card statements. The actual card holders were from Columbus. If somebody gets a hold of your credit card number and uses it to run up unauthorized charges, you are protected as long as you report that within a, a certain amount of time. The scammers haven't been caught yet, and Candace, the owner of could go. Paula? Yeah, and that is what financial experts say. Most credit card thefts, they start with small transactions before a big purchase. You are also told to look out for scammers who will try to test multiple credit cards until one of them will work.